Hello there guys and welcome, welcome back to the channel. Now for quite a while in the community there was a very high level of uncertainty in a matter of will they, won't they. And finally we do have an answer and that is regarding Gallant's tune-up. Too long, don't want to listen to KT ramble for next uh, 5 to 10 minutes is Gallen is not getting tuned up or down. He's safe. So is Quicksilver. No changes will be made to Quicksilver. And they are buffing OG Hulk instead. It is not going to be value only buff. It is going to be a brand new kit. I to break it down as the team explains that um, the Balagon's humble planet eater has made quite a big impact in the meta. In Alliance War, we're seeing players basically destroying late path 3 with him, also destroying top tech defenders such as Penny Parker, infamous Iron Man, Nimrod, and similarly due to shorter fight length uh, in Battlegrounds he has been a strong attacker as expected. On the questing side, as opponent help pulls rise, we're seeing Galen drop off in effectiveness outside encounters where he can find armor ups or power manipulation effects. Overall, we are happy with where Galen where he's landed in the meta, and we won't be making any champion any changes to this kit at this time. Now, this line is kind of like somewhat worrisome because they specifically say at this time. You know, typically, you know, they kind of say leaving as is or no change will be made. Uh, it is uh, kind of like, you know, not closing the door entirely. So this is the type of thing that I don't like because it's extremely vague. And, you know, there's nothing stopping them three months from now. It's like we said at this time, but it turns out that he's the over or something like that. Um, in reality, you know, we have our balancing program. Timelines are laid out. And uh, Kabam should stick to them. And this, again, unfortunately implies that they might necessarily, well, do that. Um, and again, this might be nothing. It might be just a weird wording or something like that. But since it's Kabam, it's hard to give them the benefit of the doubt. So the point is that Galen is not getting balanced at this time. <laughs> Hopefully, there won't be a time where he does get balanced. Uh, but it's still, it's, it's quite annoying that they have to do that entire point of these things is to kind of like set the things in stone in my opinion but at this time there's no change to Galen similarly to Galen we have please see how Quicksilver has been doing in Battle Realm Quicksilver was designed to counter some of the more annoying defensive threats in Mystic Defenders such as ability power rate and miss and we're thrilled to see him conquering Mangogs, Dr. Dooms, Ebony Maws on defense opposite to Galen Quicksilver needs some room to get his momentum going and his performance appears to be reflecting that quite nicely as his damage output goes up as opponent health goals health pulls go up all in all we're happy where quicksilver currently sits and uh i'm gonna be absolutely honest i obviously do like quicksilver as a character a lot i do find value in quicksilver a lot of it but that is quite an annoying thing if you think about uh, the fact that he's a speedster he should be fast and uh i Fully understand what they were trying to go giving him, with giving him like 13 hit basic combo, but that's always kind of like one of the more annoying things with Quicksilver is that he takes double the amount of time to land a basic combo than any other champion landing a basic combo, uh, and that results him obviously building power slower and uh, not being super fast in these uh, quick quick fights. But such as such is Quicksilver's kit that is not getting changed. And the last paragraph here is we're going to be working on giving Classic Hulk a brand new kit. He's still early in the design process, so we don't have much to share right now. But his current design goals are to lean into Brawler and stun locking playstyle with a modern feel. So it's going to be interesting how they achieve that. Because obviously stun lock is extremely, extremely kind of like a dangerous mechanic. Like... We all know how dangerous is Ronan, for instance, right? It's a miracle that he's still untouched in a way, because whenever there is a, enough buffs, that's an automatic stand lock as soon as you get level 1. And that is dangerous. We can't have too many champions that can do some things like that in the game, in my opinion. And uh, again, you do kind of have to be careful with it. 
At the same time, obviously, I have long wanted OG Hulk to be awesome. I really, really have. I think it has always been a bit tragic that our Iron Man, Spider-Man, OG Hulk, well, suck. So hopefully, hopefully now at least one of them is going to get crossed off the list. And uh, Juggernaut impressing me more and more, you know, gives me a slightly bit more hope uh, for the buff program. Anyways, that is it to uh, report right now. I hope you guys are happy and satisfied, as I definitely am. Now, I finally know that Galen is not getting tuned right now, so I will likely take him up as one of my next rank fours, because I do think he's well worth it. And uh, yeah, with that, I might him give him a gem, seek him up a bit. Who knows if I can't awaken him naturally. And... Uh, yeah, at least uh, it's a some peace of mind now because, yeah, Gallen, again, as I said before, I was never confident that he will get tuned up, but I was always saying if any of the current champions will end up getting tuned down, then it probably would have been Gallen. Seeing him not getting tuned down definitely makes me happy. Uh, let me know what you guys think, and uh, I'll catch you guys soon. See ya. Hello there guys and welcome back to the channel. So we have all the information about the next...